Today's video is a review of the X Treadmill Lux Treadmill. This treadmill currently retails for $389 on Amazon for a limited time. It's nearly $30 off from its typical price of $419. It has a 2.25 horsepower motor and can either be used as an under desk treadmill with the handlebars down. Or as a traditional upright treadmill. You can easily set it up within 10 minutes. They include all the necessary tools. When not in use, it can also be stored under a couch or bed. This treadmill has a max speed of 7.4 miles per hour. It weighs 75 pounds and has a 260 pound weight limit recommendation. Another interesting feature about this treadmill is that it also has Bluetooth speakers. This treadmill is quite compact as well. It has folded dimensions of 54.33 by 29.72 by 6 inches in height. One thing I want to mention about this treadmill is that the remote is required to operate the treadmill. If you don't have the remote, you can't use the treadmill. This is meant as a safety feature. So now we're going to begin the unboxing. This is how big the box looks like when it arrives in the mail. The box weighs 75 pounds. So I just removed the plastic covering. It does seem to be very well packaged, which is really nice. So this is what it looks like with all the packaging removed. So here are all the accessories and the user manual as well. So here is the user manual. We have a diagram of the treadmill, the parts list, and on this page they talk about the installation procedure. So the first step for setting up the treadmill is to lift the lever on the lower right hand side to set up the handlebar. The next step is to install the phone holder with the two included screws. So the phone holder is just attached to the upper bar right here. Of course, to do so, there's an included screwdriver tool to make it really simple and easy. The next step is to attach the two side handlebars. First, we're going to remove these square plugs on either side. These are the two square plugs, which are basically little plastic pieces. Here we have four larger bolts, which will apply two to either side to attach the handlebars. Now we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. So once both handlebars are in place, you're going to reinsert this plastic rectangle. The last step is to attach the safety key and plug in the power cable. The port for the power cable is on the lower right hand side as well as the power switch. So right now the treadmill is fully set up. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So everything on this treadmill is controlled with the remote. When not using the remote, you can place it on the phone or tablet holder portion right here. This treadmill is not too loud, which is a really great thing. So 
So I just tested the treadmill and I do have a few initial thoughts. The first thing I want to mention is that the belt feels quite smooth. Of course you can lubricate it beforehand if you wish. They do include two bottles of lubricant. To add lubricant to the treadmill, you just have to manually place it underneath the belt, aiming towards the middle of the belt. The handlebar portion right here is quite simplistic. It does hold a phone. I do have the iPhone 11 and it does fit. You would obviously want to lower the screws a little bit more, but I didn't want to strip them and force it into place. There is this plastic piece on the back portion to hold up your phone or tablet. When the treadmill is in use, the display portion right here will toggle between time, distance, speed, and calories. Right here is the speaker if you connect your phone via Bluetooth. I also appreciate that there's this plastic portion on the back of the treadmill right here. On either side of the treadmill, they have a place where you can adjust the belt left or right if it does shift over time, which it likely will. The side portions right here for you to place your feet mid-workout are also quite wide. I appreciate that you can increase the speed in 0.1 increments, giving you a very sensitive and precise speed. You also want to be careful if you hold the buttons down too long, it will jump your speed quite quickly. So you can hear by that sound. Right now we're at a speed of 3.0 and this is how loud it sounds. Once again, the belt is quite smooth. Now let's jump up a bit more. So now we're at a speed of 5.0 and this is how loud it sounds. So I just want to demonstrate what it looks like when you use this treadmill under the walking mode. So you can see I have the handlebars down right now, so it is a bit more of a balancing act. Right now I'm at a speed of 2.5. The safety key is still required to be in place right here for the treadmill to operate even while in the walking mode. Under the walking mode, the treadmill has a max speed of 4.0 which brought me to a pretty brisk walk but still very manageable. I would caution you to be careful when you get on and off the treadmill or more likely keep the remote with you and come to a full stop before jumping off. I do love how compact this treadmill is. You can see it's right here behind me. It can easily fit under a standing desk. Not every treadmill has the option to be used with the handlebars down, which is a really great feature of this. It does take around five minutes to set up or take down the treadmill and setting up or taking down the treadmill includes removing the handlebars and removing the phone holder. You would also wanna be careful not to strip the screws or over tighten things when you are setting up or taking it down. As this treadmill weighs 75 pounds, it's pretty convenient if you want to move it around your home, it's not too unbearable. As with most treadmills, there are two wheels on the front of it for easy transportation. My main hesitation with this treadmill would be concerning the remote, say if you were to misplace it, you won't be able to use your treadmill, but you could attach it to your treadmill somehow, perhaps with Velcro as the instruction manual recommended. In worst case scenario, if you do misplace your remote, you can email the company and they will ship you out another one, whether it be free or a $5 charge. As I mentioned before, this product is available on Amazon and currently they have a buy one, get one offer. When you purchase the treadmill, you can also select a free water bottle at checkout. They have colors of green or blue. Just make sure that you select the promotion along with the treadmill when you make your purchase. This product is also available on Walmart's website. This treadmill also comes with a US-based after-sales support team in which you can email and they will reply within 24 hours. You can contact them with any questions regarding the setup, the use, or if you need to order a new remote. So if your remote is dysfunctional, contact the sales support and they will replace one likely free of charge. On your phone, under the Bluetooth settings, you can select media to sync your phone to the treadmill. This product is offered under Amazon Prime with free two-day shipping. This treadmill also comes with a one-year warranty. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what are your thoughts on this product.
Do you think it's worth it for the price point? Do you like the fact that it can be used as an under desk treadmill or as a traditional treadmill? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.